sorry that the light is not shining on me. I apologize for the light. But I'm going to disagree with you, T-Mod. Because you assume that these people have the brain power to even understand what you're saying. I'm going to disagree with you, T-Mod. You put your videos out here to teach people something other than what they have learned already. And you cannot understand how come they can't understand? So I'm going to disagree with you one more time, t -Mai. These people cannot perceive anyone of color doing anything positive. They do know you. They do know your business. They is in your house. They know everything there is to know about you because they've learned it from watching Good Times, B-E-T, and whatever somebody else has ever told them the perception of a black person is, they know who you are. They can question anything you say or do on this YouTube because you put it out there. You know they know everything about you because the person that taught them taught you. That same person that showed you how the Huxtables got it and all this positive and good black stuff and da 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 yada yada yada. They know who you are because they think everything that they have ever seen or ever heard about someone like you or like me is somewhat true because there's always some truth based in every story black people must be like this all of them must got that little thug that they hold back from when they doing they dirt on the down low ain't no nigga ever did nothing positive and if they did we should kill them now that's the manner in which you're working you working in a medium where somebody talk bad about you that's because you got to them that person dissing you and, and, and saying negative things about you you got to him if they get on your back and try to scratch you and try to break you down it's cause you got to him so I'm gonna disagree with you t -Mot, because you got to him his mind was so small and what you put in it blew it up he had to come at you well, you, well, you, you got to prove it man you, you, what is you doing because you touched him he might go on and change his name next week and get a web camera. We've done videos from day one. I say we because whenever you get on YouTube, you're part of the YouTube family. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter how quick they cut your videos short, I said it. They think they know you because of what they've seen. They believe that they can tell you what you're doing wrong because of what you let them see of you. The mentality of those who watch our videos is not only those out there who want to learn, but those out there who want to destroy when someone that is in the form that they, they've been learned, they've been taught, they've been trained to dislike you. Everything that you say is negative based on what they know about you. In other words, you're the anti t mot because you're supposed to be selling crack and slapping bitches and hoes and putting a nigga in a place. You're supposed to be putting it down. You're supposed to be thugging to the end. You're supposed to ride a fucking die with your black ass. That's what they taught you to do. You're not conforming to the restraints placed upon you. You not talking, you know, black woman ain't shit, you know. You know, you ain't you ain't that, T Ma. I disagree with you. Because you touched him. And you allowed him to know it. You let him know it. And every now and then we on YouTube who have a voice, let them know you rub me the wrong way and you don't know me. I don't live in a crack house. I don't sell crack. I ain't got to do what you think I got to do to be who I have to be to be somebody positive. I don't have to go out in the streets to preach no nothing, no sermon, no nothing. The truth is a sermon in itself. So what am I doing to make my situation positive? I'm doing it right now. 
I'm giving another brother the kudos. Two thumbs up for the job well done. But never let nobody take you off your road. Never let nobody shake t -Mot because they can't. All they can ever do from now and then and time to time is ask you to let them believe that they can get under that skin. But how are you going to try to get under somebody's skin when they got their hands out to help you? Why are you going to try to stab somebody in the back while they got their hands out helping you? Don't question what the fuck this man is doing. Don't question how he's doing it. Look at what he's doing it. Take it and make it better and do it yourself. He's not here to preach to you. He ain't here to try to remake you. He's here to try to show you something that you have not been looking for. Not been seeking. You might not like him today. You might not even give a damn tomorrow. But whatever he said, you thought about it, you picked it up, and you criticized him because he made you feel it. So, T Mott, don't worry about what you did to this man. You woke him up from that deep slumber and while he was sleeping he's like Doc, how dare this man teach me something they don't dislike you because they hate you they dislike you because you taught them something they mamas and they daddies did not even try to attempt to teach So, I'm going to have to disagree with you, t -Mot. Because your point came across. And in this video, I can't feel you believing that they got it. Now, how are people going to take the video that I just did? How are people going to hear this video and will it get cut short? No matter what you are, who you are, as long as your message is positive, I don't care how you deliver it. I don't care how it gets to my mailbox. But when I get it, unlike a lot of these people on YouTube, I get it. I appreciate it. And I thank you for letting me have it. I want you to give me more. And when I find it, I'm going to take it. I'm going to use it for my own. Knowledge is power. You cannot lead without knowledge. You cannot grow without knowledge. And you cannot learn without knowledge. And without knowledge, you cannot wield power. Because in the end, when it's all said and done, and when the last trumpet is sounded, you'll realize and you'll wake up and you'll understand that out of all you went through in the last nine minutes and 30 seconds, it came down to one thing. You've been tubed. Hey, t -Mot, did you like that one? I think it was pretty good. On a scale from one to 10, it had to be close to nine. 10. 1900 I think it was around 1900 out of 2000 nah nah it was pretty deep it was deep